Welcome to the video. I bring you yet another video blog. They seem to be uh, somewhat successful in the sense that people who want to check them out are checking them out, so I appreciate every single view. Wristwatch check. I am wearing the tank. Yes, I'm wearing the Cartier tank today. When I was, I went out earlier today and Okay, it's still winter really, but the sun was still beaming down on the watch. And it was just magnificent. The, the light that catches this thing, because of the the polished links, I mean, it's, they're brushed in the centre. Uh, well, but even then, even then they really reflect. You can kind of see that. So, you just get, the light just catches it. Really, to see it just glistens. Beautiful to wear. But I've not brought you this video to talk about the tank. No, I actually uh, kind of like an impromptu video this because if you remember my last video, I said my friend called me, we talked about G-Shocks. It reminded me that, hey, I've got somebody to call. I called the watchmaker and I said, hey, before Christmas, I brought you the max bill and... You ordered the sapphire glass. Did it ever arrive? The watchmaker turns around to me and says, yes, it has arrived. It arrived about two or three days after you picked up the watch. So, why why he didn't call me, I don't know. But for the entirety of January, the Max Bill has had the three small chips in the in in the plexiglass so I, I i jump in the car i i travel down to the watchmaker and i hand him today the max bill he's given me a receipt i've got a paper receipt really old school stuff it's an old school shop and that's where we are at he has told me it's in stock i think just for reference i think it's a 36.5 millimeter sapphire a dome sapphire as well so that's that's interesting so i should have this back i am hoping thursday so expect a video thursday and i am hoping to have the max bill back with the sapphire and who knows let's see how good it is i mean we all know what a sapphire is like i'm, I'm sure most of us have, have had a sapphire watch you can find them on really affordable watches and you also find them on you know the, the luxury watches so my question to you is have you ever used a watchmaker and what has your experience been because if i am completely honest i've been pretty underwhelmed by the whole experience i think it's because this particular guy has so many customers and you know customers for 10 15 20 years you know i'm just another customer I, I i don't really have that you know some people take in watches regularly to him i don't and and i but but it's a shame that that is the way why can somebody like myself who maybe doesn't use him too often why can't we have that sort of you know repertoire whenever there's an issue i i will use you but it's like a mobile phone or a cell phone for those of you in the US. The new customers, they tend to get the, the best contracts. But in, in the watch world, when you go to the, the watchmaker, it's kind of the opposite way around. Because he doesn't really know you, you've not brought him any watches, you don't really you haven't built up that relationship yet. And it's such a shame. Why can't you just all be treated absolutely equally, you know? So what's your experience been with a watchmaker or do you try to go out of your way to avoid going to a watchmaker? Um, as always, I'm really interested in everybody's comments. So if you've ever used a watchmaker or if you haven't, if you've got a reason for why you haven't, let me know in the comments below and I will catch you, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will catch you on Thursday. I really, really hope he sticks to his promise and, and uh, gets this done. So I'll speak to you all uh, in a couple of days. Take care, guys.